This interview took place at Pinellas County Animal Services in Largo. It's an animal shelter for homeless dogs and cats. Let's listen as Tyson Youts explains animal services to Eric. Uh, what kinds of animals do you have here at Animal Services? Well, we only really deal with dogs and cats. We do deal with the occasional nuisance wildlife. But primarily, 99% or more of the animals that we deal with are dogs or cats. And so that's where we have to keep uh, our focus and do lots and lots of, uh, of those adoptions. Hmm. Well, let's start with cats. Will you show us some, please? Well, I have a beautiful cat right here. Let me get her out of the cage. And if I'm not careful, I will end up adopting her. She's a big girl. She's a five-year-old, what we call domestic short hair, but her color pattern makes her what we call flame point with these bright red flame colors on her ears and tail. And she's five years old, but with these beautiful blue eyes, I can't wait to maybe end up taking her home myself. A lot of the shelter employees have lots and lots of animals. Nice. That was great. Now can you show us some dogs? Oh, I'd be happy to. Here's a dog I like. Now what do I do? Well, if you come into the shelter and you pick out a dog, you want to have a couple of things with you. One is a either letter from your landlord or a copy of your lease or if you own your own home we can look it up on the property appraisers website you also have to have your photo ID we have to know who it is that we're adopting an animal to and you'll fill out some forms with us and we'll tell you about each animal or each pet that you're interested in how much are pet licenses and rabies vaccinations well, normally the license is $20. Whether it's a three-year license or a one-year license, they're the same price, it's $20. Rabies shots are $5. On occasions, we'll do rabies shots for $1, but most of the time, it's five. What other fees are there before you can take home a pet? Well, an adoption is $35, and that includes the rabies shot, the license, deworming, all its other shots, heartworm test, and a lot of other things that they come with. We check the animals out very carefully to make sure they have a good health and a good behavior or temperament. Is there any kind of starter kit that goes with a pet? We do have a starter kit. We have a bag of dog food that's donated by a dog food company, a video on how to train your animal. We also give you a leash and any medications if the animal needs it. They're given a flea preventative and a heartworm preventative before they leave, which covers you for a month. We have a dog trainer that comes in and provides a free training class to help you with any uh, training issues that you might have. And there's even more. Well, our time is up for today, Tyson. Thank you for telling us about animal services. I appreciate it. Here are some more things to remember about pets and other animals. Apartments and condos have rules about pets. Check out the rules where you live before you get a pet. Each city has its own rules about pets and other animals. For example, you can have a chicken in Largo, but you cannot have chickens in Clearwater. In North Reddington Beach, you cannot have any chickens, horses, cows, goats, pigs, or any wild animal. So check out your city's rules about animals before you get a pet. Pinellas County also has rules about pets. For example, dogs must be on a leash when you take them for a walk. And don't chain your pets in your yard. They must be free to run. Here's one more very important thing to remember. What's a good pet in one country may not be a good pet here. For example, goats, pigs, monkeys, and tiger cubs are not good pets for Pinellas County. So before you get a pet, check the rules. Be sure you choose a pet that is okay to have in Pinellas County.
To learn more about getting a dog or cat from Pinellas County Animal Services, visit their website, www.pinellascounty.org slash animal services. To learn more about choosing a pet in general, visit this website, www.petchoice.org.